Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1980 American movie Airplane. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Peter Graves died at the age of 83 years in 2010 from heart attack. For the argument between announcers concerning the white and red zones at the airport, the producers hired the same voice artists who had made the real-world announcements at Los Angeles International Airport. At the real airport, the white zone is for loading and unloading of passengers only, and there's no stopping in the red zone. They were also married to each other in real life. Julie Haggerty was 25 years in 1980 and is 67 years old in 2023. Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker chose actors such as Robert Stack, Lloyd Bridges, Peter Graves, and Leslie Nielsen because of their reputation for playing no-nonsense characters. Until this film, these actors had not done comedy, so their straight arrow personas and line delivery made the satire in the movie all the more poignant and funny. Bridges was initially reluctant to take his role in the movie, but his sons persuaded him to do it. Robert Hayes was 32 years in 1980 and is 75 years old in 2023. The doctor role was Leslie Nielsen's first comedic part. He later said he was delighted to get the offer, fearing that he was getting too old for anything but elderly grandfather parts. The studio actually wanted to cast Dom DeLucy as the doctor, but directors Jerry Zucker, David Zucker, and Jim Abrahams prevailed. It led to Nielsen gaining a whole new career in wacky comedies, particularly other Zucker Abrahams Zucker productions. Leslie Nielsen died at the age of 84 years in 2010 from pneumonia. Air Mexico was the only airline to buy the film for their in-flight entertainment. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was 33 years in 1980 and is 75 years old in 2023. In a 2008 interview on The Today Show, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar told the story of being on a European flight and was asked to sit in an empty seat in the cockpit during takeoff so the crew could say they flew with Roger Murdoch. Lloyd Bridges died at the age of 85 years in 1998 from natural causes. According to the DVD commentary, the song Stayin' Alive was sped up by 10% for the dance scene of the film. Permission from the BGs had to be obtained to speed it up. Lorna Patterson was 24 years in 1980 and is 66 years old in 2023. To get the film green-lighted by Paramount, Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker pitched it as National Lampoon's Animal House on a plane which of course, was far from the truth, but was the only way they could get the studio execs to understand it was a zany comedy.